Nera Guide Top 20 Recommended Street Food. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro, born and raised in Japan. This video is about street food in Nara. We'll introduce 20 items, including traditional foods and sweets, that are popular on social media. We'll also share some tips on how to watch the world famous mochi pounding, so please watch until the end. Now, let's get started. We have arrived at Kintetsu Nara Station. Let us briefly explain how to get here from Tokyo. First, you'll go to Kyoto Station, which is about a two hour Shinkansen ride from Tokyo Station. From Kyoto Station, transfer to the Kintetsu Line, and you'll reach Kintetsu Nara Station in about 35 minutes. If you are coming from the Osaka area, it takes about one hour by train. If you have a JR Pass, it's recommended to head to JR Nara Station instead of Kintetsu Nara Station. Both stations allow you to walk to the main area of Nara. This time, we'll introduce these six sections. Now, let's head to Nara Park, a place visited by almost all tourists who come to Nara. You can reach the entrance of Nara Park about a six minute walk from exit 2 of Kintetsu Nara Station, or about a 16 minute walk from the east exit of Nara Station. When you walk about seven minutes more from the park entrance, you'll arrive at the main area of Nara Park. Look, there are deer! There are over 1100 deer in Nara Park. They are custom to people, so you can approach them up close. In Nara Park, you can buy deer food at various places and it costs 200 yen. The way they eat food is adorable. Please be aware that giving anything other than deer specific food is prohibited. There are other guidelines, so please follow the rules when giving them food. When you go farther into Nara Park, you'll find Todaiji Temple. To enter Todaiji Temple, it costs 600 yen for adults and 300 yen for children. It's a temple that was built in the year 728 and it has a history of over 1200 years. Inside, there's a very large Great Buddha. When you compare the Great Buddha to people, you can see that it's really large. Let's go to the back of it. On the back pillar, there's a hole the same size as the nostril of the Great Buddha, and it's believed to bring good luck to pass through it. It's a size that even adults can just barely pass through, so please give it a try. Alright, let's start our food tour. First, we'll introduce 10 shops in the shopping street near Kintetsu Nara Station. The first one is Manshodo. It's a traditional Japanese confectionery shop established in 1890. This time, we'll have the Mitarashi Dango they sell right in front of the shop. Dip the freshly grilled Dango generously in the sauce and it's ready. The packet with illustration of deer is cute. It's freshly grilled, so it adds a savory aroma. The outside is crispy and the inside is chewy. It has a saltiness of soy sauce. And subtle sweetness of sugar. It has a taste that makes you feel the history. Next up is this shop, Mifuku. It's a specialty fried food shop that opened in July 2023. There's an eating area on the second floor. This time, we'll introduce their freshly fried cheese ground meat cutlet. It's the most popular menu that almost everyone orders when they come to this shop. The size is large and it's satisfying to eat. The breadcrumbs are coarse, giving it a nice crispy texture. Inside, it's filled with plenty of cheese and it melts. The meat juice is spread in your mouth. The cheese is creamy and delicious. Next is a shop called Rintaro. It's a specialized taiyaki shop that opened in November 2022. 
At this shop, they carefully bake each taiyaki one by one after receiving the order, so it takes about five minutes until it's ready. It's freshly baked and piping hot. The batter is thin, giving it a nice crispy texture. Inside, there's plenty of sweet red bean paste. It's not too sweet, and you can taste the natural sweetness of the azuki beans. Be sure to try the freshly baked taiyaki. Next up is this shop, Kakinoha Sushi Honpo Tanaka. This is a specialty shop for Kakinoha Sushi, which has been popular in Nara for over 200 years. They are seasonal limited items, but this time we'll introduce the most popular set that includes three types of sushi. Kakinoha Sushi wraps sushi in persimmon leaves, so it has a rich aroma. This is a sea bream sushi. The sweetness of the sea bream and the tartness of the vinegar rice goes well together. This is a salmon sushi. It has a rich flavor and a melt-in-your-mouth texture. This is a classic macaro sushi item at Kakinoha Sushi. It has just the right amount of fat. Kakinoha sushi has a strong vinegar flavor and a leafy aroma, so it might be a matter of personal preference, but if you're interested, please give it a try. The next shop we're introducing is located at the back of this narrow passage in the building. It's called Ippo Niho, a specialty onigiri shop. This is a hidden gem of a shop that opened in June 2023. There are more than 10 types of onigiri, but this time, we'll introduce a unique one. This is a meat-wrapped onigiri. You can choose between the flavors of soy sauce and miso, but we chose miso. It has a sweet and nice aroma of miso. The pork has just the right amount of fat. The rich miso seasoning enhances the flavor of the rice even more. It's nice and skewered, so it's easy to eat. The next place we are introducing is Ishingura, located in the same building. It's a popular shop where you can enjoy freshly baked sweet potatoes and sweet potato dessert. This time, we'll introduce a food that we highly recommend. It's a pie with sweet potato paste inside. It has a nice aroma of butter. The pie has a coarse sugar on its surface, so it's crispy. The butter flavor is rich, and the pie crust has a light texture. The sweet potato paste is smooth and melts in your mouth. It has white chocolate, so it's sweet. It's an elegant tasting pie with a subtle aroma of rum. The next is this shop, Uoman. This is a historic Kamaboko specialty shop established in 1901. The Satsumaage is popular, and they offer over 10 freshly fried items. We'll introduce two recommended items from among them. First, we have the Satsumaage with crab sticks inside. It's wrapped in seaweed, so it has a nice aroma. The plump texture of the fish paste is addictive. Inside, they are Japanese omelette and crab sticks giving it a subtle sweetness. The fluffy texture is good. Next is this Satsuma Age, which is made by frying a combination of fish paste and french fries together. It's the most popular item in this shop. The outside is crispy and the inside is fluffy. The potatoes have absorbed the butter, making the flavor richer than it looks. We tried Satsuma Age, which combines fish paste and fried potatoes for the first time, and it's really delicious and addictive. This menu looks like it would go well with beer. The next place we are introducing is this shop, Over Macaron. It's a specialty shop for macarons, and you can find it in Tokyo and Osaka as well. There are more than 12 adorable macaron flavors. This time, we'll introduce an item that you can only buy at the Nara branch. It's a macaron shaped like the face of a deer. It's so cute that you can't help but want to take a photo. The chocolate-flavored macaron shell has a subtle bitterness. 
That cream filling has a sweet flavor of chocolate, and it's delicious. It's a recommended item for those who love sweet treats. The macaron in the shape of a strawberry is also popular. The cream combining yogurt and strawberries has a fruity taste with both sweetness and tartness. Next up is this shop, Okanishi. It's a deep-fried specialty shop run by a butcher. Let us introduce their most popular croquette. Compared to those from other shops, it's larger in size and offered at affordable prices. The potato has an enhanced flavor with the addition of minced meat fat. There are plenty of onions, so you can taste the sweetness. The black pepper has a nice accent. The last shop we'll introduce in the shopping street is located within this restaurant area. What we'll have here is a special menu from the restaurant Seki, where they cook wagyu steak right in front of you. It's such a popular bento that had sold 14,000 servings. You can order it not at the restaurant Seki, but at takeout counter of the Olive Dining, the adjacent restaurant. They make it after you order, and it took about 15 minutes to receive when we went. This is the extremely popular Wagyu Yakiniku Bento. Thickly sliced marbled Wagyu, grilled to rare doneness, is placed on top of the rice. Let's drizzle the sauce before eating. The meat is tender, marbled with fat, and melts in your mouth. The meat juice is packed with the umami of Wagyu overflow in your mouth. The sauce is sweet and goes well with rice. Among all the yakiniku bento we have ever had, this one is especially delicious, so we highly recommend it. It's rare to find a place where you can eat wagyu at this price, so it's worth trying. From here, we'll introduce two shops located at Yumekaze Hiroba, right near Todaiji Temple. First one is Daibutsu Pudding, a shop located inside Monzen Ichiba. It's a popular pudding specialty shop, with branches at JR Nara Station and Kintetsu Nara Station as well. Let's introduce the most classic pudding among the items with more than 10 varieties. It's a cute lid with an illustration of the Great Buddha. It uses plenty of heavy cream, so you can taste the rich flavor of milk. It has a smooth and melt-in-your-mouth texture. The caramel is not bitter, and it's sweet. It's a simple pudding that allows you to taste the flavor of the ingredients. The next one is this shop, Tempio An. It's a popular Japanese confectionery specialty shop with seven branches in Nara. The rice crackers and Japanese-style cookies are also popular, but we'd like to introduce the dorayaki, which is the most popular item. It's baked every morning at 5 a.m., so you can enjoy it freshly made. The fluffy dough has a rich egg flavor and the sweet aroma of honey. The filling inside uses large-grained red beans from Tokachi Hokkaido. The bean skins have a nice texture. It's a Japanese confection that is sweet and makes you happy. Now, let's move on to the next area. Next, we'll introduce six shops located on Sanjodori Street that connects JR Nara Station to Nara Park. The first one is a shop located inside the Nara Niko Nara City Tourist Information Center. It's Cafe Etrange Narad. We'll have their takeout exclusive soft serve ice cream. The milk-flavored soft serve is topped with deer-shaped cookies and rice-based arare crackers. The soft serve has a rich milk flavor with a refreshing aftertaste. The crispy texture of the arare crackers has a nice accent. The cone is coated with chocolate and coconut chocolate, so you can enjoy a change in flavor. It's not only cute, but also has an authentic taste of soft serve ice cream. Next, we'll introduce this shop, Takoyaki Daimatsu. Besides the regular takoyaki, there are six unique menu items. 
will have the highly recommended one among them. This is takoyaki with cheese inside. The sauce has a spicy and rich flavor. It has a pleasant aroma of aonori seaweed. Inside, there's melted cheese in large sized pieces of octopus. The cheese and mayonnaise are creamy. In addition, they also offer takoyaki with mochi and the spicy cod roll mayonnaise sauce, so we recommend giving it a try. The next shop is called Daibutsu Ichigo. It's a specialty shop for Ichigo Daifuku made with fresh strawberries from Nara Prefecture. They are chocolate and matcha flavored daifuku, but will have their most popular item. It's topped with deer shaped cookies and it's cute. The strawberry is not too tart and it has a sweetness. The red bean paste filling inside is finely mashed red bean, so it has a smooth texture. The cookie has a buttery sweetness, which is perfect with the daifuku. Next, let's introduce this shop called Hiyori. It's a shop where you can buy souvenirs of Nera, but they also offer unique soft serve ice cream. This time, we chose the soft serve wrapped in gold leaf. It's so popular on social media because it looks luxurious and is photogenic. You can choose from four flavors of soft serve, such as milk, chocolate, purple sweet potato, and matcha. We chose matcha flavor. It uses Uji matcha, which is known for its particularly fragrant aroma among matcha varieties, so it has an authentic taste. The sweetness of the milk and the subtle bitterness of the matcha are perfect. By the way, it doesn't taste like gold leaf. The next shop is Rokuya. They are very sweet, but the most popular one is the Bamkchen. Let us introduce a special Bamkchen that you can find at other stores. It's shaped like deer antlers and it's cute. It has a nice aroma of butter. The surface is coated with sugar, so it's sweet. The fluffy sponge cake has a rich flavor of eggs and milk. It's also cut into small pieces, making it easy to eat. The last place we'll introduce is Nakatanido. It's the most famous mochi and rice cracker specialty shop in Japan. It's extremely popular on social media, so there's always a long line every day. At this shop, you can actually watch the mochi pounding. It's held several times between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m., but the times vary depending on the day. When the mochi pounding times are decided, they put up a notice at this spot in the shop. It can get quite crowded, so if you go right before it starts, it can be difficult to watch the mochi pounding. If you go about 15 minutes before it starts and stand at this spot in front of the shop, you'll be able to watch the mochi pounding right in front of you. It's about to begin soon. After sprinkling soybean flour on freshly made mochi, it's ready. They are pounding the mochi at high speed to prevent it from cooling down and getting hard. You can only taste the incredibly soft and melt in your mouth texture of mochi at this shop. The natural sweetness of soybean flour and the fragrance of mugwort are wonderful. The red bean paste made with azuki beans from Tokachi Hokkaido has a nice grainy texture and just the right amount of sweetness. When you go to Nara, you should definitely try this delicious mochi. If there's a restaurant you'd like me to introduce, let me know in the comments.
please like and subscribe to my channel too. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.